Hello everybody, welcome to the Crunch Game. We've got myself versus Diomed. Lots of qualification possibles here. Um, I'm sure Dimi and Elliot can explain them all when the, the game gets a bit boring. But um, <laughs> we're playing at the same time live as Moomin Slate is playing um, Strider. So, you know, we don't know the results of all the games and stuff. Um, I'm going to be trying my hardest. So uh, we'll be doing that, and uh, th these two guys will will take over and discuss their favourite dogs. So there you go, um, our favourite pets. Right, be right back. Take it away, guys. Thank you very much. Hello. There you go. <clears throat> How's it going? All right, you. Yeah, not too bad. So it's interesting, did Jimmy say that he's won the toss and he's decided to receive? I wasn't listening. Yeah, I think he said he, if he won the toss he was going to decide to receive, which I thought was interesting because he won't know if he's 1-0 down at the end of the drive, so he won't know that he needs to score two touchdowns mm -hmm. to go for the win. Because he, he needs the win, right? Or, or, or is it, can he get away with a draw if the result goes to Moomin Slayer in the other round? Yeah, yeah he can. Ah, oh, okay, so it kind of, he doesn't know 100% if he needs to win yet or not. No. It's very exciting. Yep. In this particular matchup, would you rather be troll orcs or no troll orcs? Well, it's hard to say, isn't it? It's uh, it's nice to have the extra strength, but um, also the troll is really dumb. Hmm. I guess if you're, I think you're, you know, playing up a bit, or like you need a, you you need a, you know, a, a difficult result like Jimmy does, then having the troll is is good to can high roll a bit. I think Jimmy's going to be paying for a touchback here. Yeah. Perfect defense can move four players. I'm I'm anticipating a lot of big uns in his face. Well, mm, yeah. Can't do much near the ball at least because he'll just get served. Maybe he'll put some big uns on those blitzers. I guess he could just. I could he just. I guess he could just put the. The begins where the ball is landing, but it's a bit scary. I mean, for one thing, it definitely won't be the start that Jimmy wanted. <laughs> no. Okay. The good news is that he's as fast as Mr. Throw. I was thinking that because Mr. if the ball, if he hadn't called it and it bounced behind him, Mr. Throw was out of range to pick it up, which I thought was funny. It's actually not too bad for Jimmy at all. Like that kickoff was pretty terrifying, and uh, had Diomed all man up, I said all mm. man, put the four players in. Mm -hmm. He would have caught the ball anyway because he rolled a six, and then uh, he would have been in a bit of trouble. But I mean, obviously, the thing is, there was a very high chance of that one being a touchback as well. So I, I think that may have well played into. Uh, Diomed not going yeah. uh, on it. Obviously, the guy getting served and the and the touchback chance as well. It's not really the game for Diomed to go ham either. Right? He knows a draw is good enough, so he can take oh, yeah. it pretty easy. That's a, that's a weird way to go place. into a blood bowl game, isn't it? I guess it's uh, it's 
the way I go into every blood pork game, basically. I just want to draw. I, don't I like draws. Lose. Well, I don't know. It's weird when, like... It just complex always puts him in the troll. Three dice, kapow. Snakes the armor roll, classic. I feel like I feel like I should uh, start counting the amount of times I see snakes on armor rolls because I, I I get the feeling it's really high. Probably about three percent of the time. You reckon? I reckon it's more than that. Mind you, I only watch 3% of Blood Bowl games, so it's probably the one game I watch that it happens in. That makes sense. So, ball is secured. He's on the halfway line as well, which is probably a little bit ahead of schedule. It looks horrible, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Trying to score against Diamed from this position. I mean, it's all great and well having the ball nice and secured on the LOS, but trying to get around that massive red is looking a little daunting. And of course, diamed has got the mighty blow with block, whereas uh, Jim's mighty blow is on a troll with no block and obviously stupid. So, we'll see. Very close to breaking armor there, not quite getting it. Hmm. I was going to say, if he shuffles over too far, he looks like that right side is looking pretty nice to just push down. Hmm, yeah. Very, uh, very heavy on the left, isn't he? Oh my god, and he's cast himself on a dodge. And that is the longest cutscene I've ever on? seen. I don't know, it <laughs> went on for days, didn't it? It was like, it was like June part two. The uncut version. Oh my God. Maybe, maybe that's what, uh, that's just a, a, an insight into what cross platform is going to be like. I mean, you're going to get seven hour cutscenes. Maybe. They're just getting you ready for the next patch. Yeah, I like. I I yeah, I thought this was a little mm. showing a little bit too much leg. As a mm. oh my god, he's double. Oh, he gets the bolt hit. Oh dear. Oh yeah, this is nice. Yeah. Clever Jim. Clever Jimmy. Although Oof. stupid Jim, he didn't roll a pal. No. What an what idiot! An idiot. <laughs> what an absolute moron. <laughs> Wonder if he uh, got an education, Jimmy, because uh, that that was pretty dumb. Oh, what's he gonna do here? Is he gonna? Oh, he's gonna chain him. No, he can't. Hmm. No, this doesn't look right. I guess he wants to try and. Hmm. That's really unfortunate. Got not getting the power on that guy. I love the fact that it was his frenzy guy as well, because uh, frenzy is so great because you get to re-roll the block dice. He used the reroll and didn't knock him over. <laughs> <laughs> and he's probably gonna get shut down pretty hard at next turn as well. So he's got what? Yeah, he needs to put an assist in. Oh, pal. That was an interesting block. Mm, if, uh, the ball first. Yeah, I mean it's on a shown four guy, but holy, I mean there's, there's, yeah, that mm. was an interesting block, especially when he's putting the ball there. Oh, right, right. he's handing off. Yeah. <clears throat> I wonder if Jimmy's. I wonder if Jimmy's nervous, or I guess he just wanted to make that block before the handoff because he needed that block to work yeah that was rough some hard decisions there yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a way of surfing the ball here but like oh my god it took me about an hour to figure it out and his, uh, his frenzy piece is too far away, actually. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's too far away. The old uh, Kaz Lino is pretty huge as well. There's 11 against 10, which is going to be much easier for Jim. Yeah. I spoke too soon. Is 10 against 10 now? Oh, frenzy. Oh, absolutely useless. Two frenzy guys, no pals. You just get to roll double the amount of pushes. Yeah, you shut this down pretty nicely. Maybe this was a bit of a trap. I guess the troll, if the troll works here, it could do some work. We can sort of like break open through the middle. That probably. Hmm. Yeah. There's a. There's quite an important job for the troll to do here. <clears throat> and if it does it, it's really good. And if it doesn't, okay, that's a little annoying. So yeah, I mean it's only turn three. So I think he's just quite happy to to bang a bit. Wonder if he's going to move back to the centre or. I guess he's going to put a guard bigger next to that troll. Yeah. This is an important one. Oh, he's got reroll that. Yeah. Even the push was fine there. That's uh, frustrating as hell. Down to one reroll. Team has still got three. Squeaky bum time. Hmm. Uh, just a heads up in the uh, Moomin Slayer Shrider game, it's currently 4 0 to Moomin Slayer. So, yeah, Jim, Jim has to win. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, actually, there is uh, some scenes. Oh, I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, oh my god. I've just, I just had a click on it. And there's, uh, there's quite a shocking. Oh my god. So they're also at turn 4.
Could be dwarfs versus dwarfs. Do you think dwarfs versus dwarfs is worse than orcs versus orcs? Yes. Really? I don't know. I guess the the good thing is with this is at least one of them has a troll and one of them doesn't, so there is some sort of variety. Yeah, I haven't played knobs in a while. What are my, what are our favourite pets? My own favourite pet is my dog, which is uh, Ruby. She's the King Charles Cavalier. And she's lovely. Dwarves versus dwarves would be more static. What, what's your favourite pet, Elliot? My favourite pet is Podge, because it's not fair that you like Ruby and not Podge. Well, to be fair, Michelle likes Podge more than she likes Ruby, so it is all balanced out in the grand scheme of things, and he's a Pomeranian Chihuahua. He's had a bath today, so he looks really fluffy and nice. That's quite funny. <clears throat> so he's kind of like just banging just quite happy to bang quite happy to let Jim move up the side as well like, and just quite happy that he can close it off I mean the thing is if the ball is base now and there's there's a lot of Jim's orcs on the floor this is this is looking pretty horrendous I mean, again, it's interesting, like, why he's gone on offense first. But I guess the problem with not going on offense first is you could just get randomly removed on your LOS and stuff, and then it makes the whole game incredibly harder. Um, unfortunately, Jim didn't get any sort of random removals on his LOS. Although, Diomed did randomly catch one of his linos with a dodge. Is that troll? Oh my god, that's not the time. That is not the time. One defensive player in this matchup would be hilarious, just quietly. Imagine having all your guards switched off for a turn. That would be bad. <laughs> it would be horrendous. I mean, imagine when Amazon's come out. Oh my God! Although they're not all June the eleventh, isn't it? Oh, Amazon's yeah, June the eleventh. Yeah, did you see the trailer today? It was amazing. Yeah. Hit and run. Hit and run the new trait. Bloody, what was it? Jim thought he was going to be Pogo or something. Dumplings, like that. Or yeah, something ridiculous. Or Bombardier. Yeah. Mate, the day they release Bombardier on Blood Bowl 3, oh my god, the car there's gonna be bombs flying. Yeah, I might everywhere. actually start playing then. <laughs> it's gonna No, you monster mate. It's <laughs> literally just gonna be it's gonna be like a war zone. It's not even gonna be like Blood Bowl anymore. It's just gonna be people throwing bombs at each other constantly <laughs> for sixteen turns. It'll be like spamming bombs and then fouling with sneaky git dirty player just constantly not giving an absolute yeah, where the ball is, basically. I need good dice, not bad dice. Jim Shard. Jim Shards. Yeah. It's looking rough. It's looking rough. But it's turn five. There's plenty of time in the drive. Um, things happen. Unfortunately, only one re-roll. So you, you can't even, like, just roll a shed load of dice on turn eight and pray for the best, so... It's going to be tight. There's just not a lot you can do when, like, you know, all your blocks of pushes and all of his blocks of piles and, like, a stun, right, with that troll, essentially. It's just, it's just brutal. Just brutal. I mean, the, the one thing I would say is if it's nil-nil at half-time, it's not the end of the world because if you turn him over and score, then you still win anyway. So it's, it is what it is. The, like, obviously, the main thing is not to go down 1-0 on, on a drive like this. Mm, yeah, um, it's funny as well because Elliot mentioned like how good the defenses were, right, with between Diamond and Strider. So yeah, maybe, may, you yeah, know, maybe and, if I can uh, get out of this at nil nil and turn him over and win one nil, it's not so bad. I mean, it's only polite not to score in your drive, Jimmy. Like, especially <laughs> being the host of the tournament, right? <laughs> um, it's, it's good etiquette, in fact, to not <laughs> score in your drive. So uh, congratulations on being a complete gentleman. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's what I was going for. Uh, 
Yeah. yeah. Right, I've got to try. Very, very noble of Jimmy. Just like the uh, best race in the game, the knobs, the nobles. Also don't like scoring on their drives. In the interest of nobility, of course. <laughs> Scoring his bad space cadet. Oh man, I got reminded of that today. That was a belter. I really enjoyed that. There's been so many classic moments in Blood Bowl. There, there, there may be one that you, you may like. You'd have to be a real old school Blood Bowl fan to know about it. But there was, there was a game where Space Cadet surfed his own player and killed it. And then, oh yeah. That is like. Untold <laughs> levels of hilariousness. It's just so funny. I think there is a clip somewhere. Like I can't. Like honestly, you'd have to, you'd have to do some digging to find that clip. But yeah, Space Cadet killing his own player, surfing it. It's pretty goddamn hilarious. Peak Blood Bowl. It was. It was the glory days. <laughs> I have I have surfed my own player in Blood Bowl 2 before as well. I think <clears throat> I think it was with a ball uh, like a ball and chain though. To be fair, it was kind of like accidental. I mean, obviously it's not really. I don't. I can't think of a time where you would surf your own player on purpose. I mean, it is Blood Bowl is weird like that. Like sometimes it is. Like, good to fireball your own player, some, well not good to, but like sometimes you kind of have to fireball your own player and stuff, so... It's a weird game. So, turn 5. We have advanced two squares from turn 1. And, uh, Jim's troll is still on the floor. Which is pretty honey, funny. I do try, GBA, I do try. Mate, there was one there was one stream I did drunk where I did a fireball and I missed I missed the cane. Oh, wow. I, I was trying to fireball. <laughs> oh my god. And the uh stabbing stabbing a gutter runner with is it hemlock? Hemlock is like my <laughs> god that, oh. that that, that was, was the like, best stream ever. That was actually yeah, the best stream ever. Yeah, mate. Hemlock is like... Um, actually, I can use Hemlock... For, oh, is Hemlock in 2020? Well, they haven't got rid of him, have they? I didn't see uh, him on the lists. I don't think he's on it anymore. Well, no, yeah, they've got the new one. They've got the twins, haven't they? The twins. Oh, are they replacing... He oh, my God. If I could get Hemlock, mate, I would have just, just been all over that for my Slan team. Literally running around slashing people. I guess Dribble and Jaw will do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, Dribble and Jaw are just more OP, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. That's such a stupid brawl. You get like plus one to fouls if they're next to each other. Oh yeah, it's insane. And doesn't one of them have dirty player as well? So it's like plus two. So it's like. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It depends how. Like if I, I'll, I'll find out how well I get on with the guys in the league. If there's anyone I don't particularly get on with, I won't oh. be popping out with Dribble Draw. <laughs> oh. So if they're very nice to me, I'll probably take something a bit softer and sneaky get, sneaky get. So what? Hang on. Does one of them have sneak? Because I know one of them has stab and one of them has DP, but I didn't realise the DP one had sneaky get as well. Yeah, yeah. That's that is miserable. Oh my god, that's miserable. Uh -huh. I can imagine feeling like Jim <laughs> playing against. Mm. Uh, to be fair, I did play against Dribble and Draw once. I played against Foolian's Dribble and Draw, which was oh. a, a fun experience for him. Yeah, one stab and one sneaky. Hit. Oh my god. I think he did try and stab me at one point as well. Maybe he did stab me. If only Jim had a goblin, Eliot. If only. I mean, where's the bicycle at, right? Right. Hmm. 
right, he's holding on to that reroll. Did he? Has he already tried to activate the troll, or has he not done it yet? Maybe he's blitzed him with it. It's a GFO blitz, though, isn't it? Oh no, he's not blitzing. Hey, he's up. Only took him three turns. Pretty good going. Pretty clever troll. Whoa. Starting to think we might not be scoring here. I only started now. I was on that on turn <laughs> three. <laughs> Everybody optimist. Oh, he stood him up to get served. I guess he's got no choice. Yeah, I, I was there right before kickoff when it, as soon as he selected offense, I was like, well. I mean, that's the thing. The fact that he's burned a couple of rerolls is the worry because, like, normally you. Can Bids or whatever. I guess he's just trying to get. And he's still got it on stupid Mr. Fro, who's movement five as well. So Mr. Fro has got to go like three squares forward at least next turn, I think, to be in range. And that's with GFIs. So yeah, it's looking pretty rough. But yeah, maybe hand off to a Blitzer and just Potato. I'm surprised he hasn't left a Blitzer over near the troll to sort of like Potato up the mm. left side. Yeah. I mean, all the Blitzers are going to be fully screened as the problem. Oh we yeah, yeah. Fully screen this. He's, well, he's he's probably gonna surf like. God knows. Mm, I don't he think I'm surfing. Huh? Don't think I'm surfing. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how many he can surf. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, I mean, there's definitely one there, but. It's just too much of a commitment, I think. Yeah, I know what you mean. And it's, it's with a block, plus block! Hmm. Yeah, he needs to get... He needs to get that line off the troll, I think. I think it's because he wants to hit the guard in the middle. Yeah, it does risk leaving options open though to the middle. Yeah, it does, yeah. <clears throat> well, he's got the uh, frenzy guy as a sweeper, I guess. I'm surprised he didn't move the frenzy guy in and then he's followed again. Yeah, this is. F oh, he's going for the double tag, is he? I mean. Ooh, now that blitz is potentially getting out of range of three of the blitzers. I guess he hasn't moved two of them. Well, two yet. Hmm. There might be a chance. This is where you get all excited, making loads of plans, and then he moves these last three players, and you're like, oh no, there's nothing. Yeah, this is rough. Oh, that pal there is huge. Is he going to 1D the troll? Mm, Got to be all that. Oh! oh. He's going to chasm him, isn't he? I'm surprised he'll follow. Tag that guard, Biggin. Uh, I mean... Yeah, the only all I'm seeing is hand off to the frenzy lad and potato and pray that he doesn't pout. <laughs> I'm not seeing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not seeing, and that's not even a great option, right? There's one D there. Follow that. Mm. Let's, let's see how Jim plays this one out. Oh, I don't know. Uh, 
think he needs to uh, consider who he's using and who he's not using. Oh yeah, you can use the big in, in there. Uh, yeah, all oh, because he doesn't follow with that lino. So what does that do? Give him the blitz through on red dice. Yes. Hmm. Oh, he's got a chain here? I think what's he trying to do with that? Oh, he's rolled. He's got the pow. No re rolls. Oh, he's going for that way. So, oh, he's no scoring for it. So, he's not scoring. Is he conceding? Hmm. Maybe. This would be catastrophic for Jim's hopes. Mm hmm. Qualification. Yeah, like you say, there is a chance. And especially with two re-rolls as well. Ooh! It'd be really nice if you just didn't roll a power on, like, you know, two dice, ever. Uh, are you um, <clears throat> are you doing the replay of the other games after this? Oh, he's gone again. Mm. Oh my god! Oh my god. Wowzers. Um, yeah. Why are you terrifying? I don't understand. Why is the big and just standing up with this? What am I missing? Why isn't he following? I'm so confused. Does that Blitzen not have a guard? Uh, he doesn't want to give. Oh, it's the biggin. It's the biggin that has guard. Yeah, the biggin has guard. Ah, okay, okay. That makes sense. I think he's just avoiding giving him any sort of chain to get a Blitzen into range. Oh, he's gonna blitz from the square that he's okay. Oh, no, 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 I'm confused. Yeah, he's not hit the ball. <laughs> he's gonna go next to it. He's got the hit with the mighty blow now, though, isn't he? Yeah, but he had that anyway. He didn't have to blitz with a big and strange. And he didn't follow. What's he done here? He's got the power. Okay, well, this this kind of makes yeah, it's, the it's defense a lot better. So no touchdown for either. We're, we're ending the half at nil-nil. That is confirmed. Can Jimmy chip an orc? Can Diamond chip an orc? That's what we're playing for.
Wait a second. Jimmy's put in a scoring threat to score an own touchdown. <laughs> I guess he wants to keep him safe. Uh, <laughs> wrong oh way. my god. Wrong way. Oh, oh, it's a KO, and there's only oh, going to be one oh. roll at it, so you know that's oh. a guarantee. Stay out. Oh no, he's come back. No, he hasn't. No, he's out. Yeah. Hang on. There was two two KO rolls there. One was a one, and one was a five. So. What was the other player? Was it a Lino or something? I don't know. I can't oh. remember who the first guy was. He's got 11 though anyway. He's got a bench. Right? Yeah. But he's a guarder. So he's only down to 5 guards. Versus DMS 5 guard and a mighty blow. So what's happening in the other game? Oh, I don't want to say because it's going to be... Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've got it if you want to have a look at it. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, because we're it, casting it or something. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just didn't want to say anything. But yeah. it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't want to tell you yeah. either way. Yeah. But there's some very spicy, exciting stuff going on. And, uh, oh, yeah, I've, I've kind of... Because uh, I, I have to tab out of it, it doesn't center. So, yeah. But, yeah, this this... Is uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. like turn two or turn three it was so uh incredible incredible uh and then also apparently Artemis and Cruz have played already or something I don't know oh uh or they played earlier or something but they I don't think it like well obviously I don't think Cruz streamed it and I don't think uh I don't think Arm assumed it to be honest. But I don't know, maybe he did. But yeah, like like I say, like I mean obviously it's very easy to be in a position now to be like doom and gloom of I've, I've got a KO player who's pretty good. It's obviously my opponent's offence, but you saw how hard it was offence wise for Jimmy to get any kind of progress. Yeah. Um the one thing I will say is Diomed only needs to draw, right? So there are, yeah. There are sacrifices that he won't need to make trying to get a touchdown that will make his play safer. He doesn't have to like put himself in a position to score because he has to score. Like so, if it's not worth getting forward, he's just not going to get forward. So there's a lot of um, kind of pressure on Jim to make pressure, and uh, you, as you can see, he's got a stun troll and a stun lino. Mm. And uh, he's down a guarder, so it'll be interesting to see if he can make any pressure at all. But I mean, if any, if anyone, if anyone can, Mr. Fantastic can. They played earlier and they didn't stream it. You watched it on the client. I'm sure there'll be a replay of it somewhere. Oh, uh, what's his name was doing the old penguin thing that he was doing. So I'm sure he'll talk about it. I still haven't. I haven't watched the vod of Davo versus uh, uh, Olivier. Olivier. So uh, I, I'm quite looking forward to uh, watching that at some point as well. It seems like we haven't had a game in Super League for ages, and uh, all of a sudden we've got like all of them at the same time. Mm. Yeah, Jim just fanning out. I guess you got to wait for the stuns to get up before you can really do anything. Cause otherwise, you're just going to get outnumbered and maimed. Yeah, you didn't say what your favorite. Oh, you said your favorite pet was Podge, didn't you? Have you got yeah. a favorite pet? Uh, Have you had a pet? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think you meant what type of pet though, like what kind of animal. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be a dog, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I used to have? Leopard gecko. I'll tell you actually. I've had, gecko. I've had. I had two leopard geckos. Oh. Called Leroy and Winston, and I oh. had. <laughs> I had a. I had a tarantula for like. 
Oh, oh dear, no. Yeah, oh, I, can't do time I, I had to get rid of it because I was too scared of it. So, oh. basically, I asked my dad for a chameleon for my 13th birthday. What I didn't realise when I was 13 was chameleons were like 150 quid, which was a lot of oh. money at the time. And tarantulas were like 30 quid. Oh, so, my, dad, oh. my dad's, oh. Come, to, oh, my dad's no. come to the pet shop and he's like, oh, well, someone's a chameleon. How much? <laughs> What have you got for this? All right, we're getting one of them. So I had a tarantula. A few extra legs on. Mm. And I used to like wake up at, in the middle of the night, and I had to check like the enclosure, the terrarium, or whatever, to, um, to make sure that he hadn't got out. And like, I literally oh, yeah. just couldn't oh, sleep. Yeah. And then, and then, like, because he started in my bedroom, and then, and then he went downstairs, and then he just finally he had to go because it was uh, too terrifying. Yeah. But um, he didn't. Oh, we didn't like kill him or anything. We actually gave him to a spider sanctuary or whatever they're called. Oh, that's know. cool. Yeah, yeah. Like my dad's mate who owns the farm took him on. Oh. But yeah, seeing him eat, like he used to feed him locusts, oh. like live locusts. It was incredible. It was incredible. <laughs> so I've had hamsters. I've had a goldfish uh, called Mampy Swift, and uh, I had. I had a hamster called Macbeth. Oh. <laughs> I did, yeah. Uh, and then I had a cat called Marmalade. Oh. And uh, and then now I've got two dogs. And I had the two leopard geckos as well. So I've had quite a few pets, me. And when I was a really young kid, I used to keep wood louse in a, like an old oh. ice cream tub with like bits of apple and that. Because oh. I was I was a bit of a weird kid, really into bugs. There you can get fancy wood lice. How can you? All, all different colours and stuff, yeah, people beat them. What, like, they don't, like, make them eat food colouring and stuff, do they? Or do they no, I don't, don't think so. I don't, don't, don't think that would work. <laughs> no, it does not. It, just sounds like, it sounds like, oh, we've bred them, but... Really... Now you breed an orange wood louse with a blue wood louse, and you get, like, an orange wood louse with blue spots, I guess. <laughs> I no I way. No way. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe they just feed them Sunny Delight and they turn orange. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. A banger. It was a banger, was it? Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Your cat's name's Winston. Nice. Yeah, I, I didn't mind the cat. She was, like, really old by the end. Bit sad, really. Oh yeah, and I, I did also have a cat when I was really, really young that I barely remember. And it was my dad's cat. And he didn't want a cat. There was some drunk geezer in the pub who basically turned up at my mum's house. Like my mum and dad's house, they were together at the time. And was like, oh, your husband, my dad, has decided to get you a cat and just given this cat to my mum. My dad not knowing anything about it. <laughs> but apparently the guy was a bit of a nutter, so he's not the sort of guy you say no to. So then my dad's come home and gone like, what the hell is that? And then she was like, oh, it's the cat you got us. And then he was like, what? And he was like, yeah, this guy so -and -so t t dropped it off for us. And he was like, oh my God. And his cat, the cat was called Ratty Caius. Oh, and wow. it, was, it was the most savage cat ever. Like it wouldn't let any human touch it. It would just like bite him and scratch him. And, like, every, and he, he used to just sit in the corner of the room and like growl at people that came near him. <laughs> <laughs> I love that cat. Yeah, some incredible blood bowl going on here. Oh, he didn't roll a pow! Hey! I double scold. He pows, 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 fucking pows every fucking block, and then I fucking double skull, and then now he didn't pow. Outrageous! He must be fucking bamboozled. Oh, and another one. Fucking ears. Yeah, sorry about that chat. I don't know. I don't know quite what happened. There was some interference. On the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't quite make it out, Elliot. It just sounded like wow, wow, wow. 
Oh, never mind. Eight. Not normal services resumed. Pow, pow, pow. Honestly, that's like every opponent I've ever had at tabletop. Pow, 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 pow. <clears throat> Louds. Rip headphones users. Yeah, I have to use the headphones. When I'm a... Yeah. Yeah. Currently, I'm recovering from ringing ears. Yeah. Oh, the troll. Big mighty blow here. Big mighty blow here. So much going on. Mm. That looks like a Maris Piper to me, Elliot. <laughs> I don't know about you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm Oh, the worst thing about Daedal streams was I'd be watching someone else, I'd fall asleep, and then at four in the morning I would just wake up to some screaming randomness and be like, what the hell is that? And it, someone had raided Daedal. <laughs> <laughs> and he rolled a push on a block or something like that, and like, oh my god, just absolutely screaming the house down. I'm like, oh! So yeah, that, that's, that's one thing. But, um, I don't get so much anymore. Now I just wake up to booby streamers because Jimmy's raided them after uh, <laughs> he stopped streaming. Turn 12, 5 turns, all to play for, last game of the uh, the season. As long as there's no screamers you should be okay, yeah. It's uh, it's quite rough for Jim. If he knocks everything over, then it's it's obviously going to be fine. But if he doesn't, that troll could just do some work. That's freed him up. He can burst through at blistering pace and be within five squares of the ball, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not over. This is tense, man. Oh my god. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh. It is tense. Oh. Can he capitalize? Uh. Oh. Uh. Hmm. That guard big one on the left isn't a really annoying square. I was just thinking, can he chain that blitzer out and then blitz the frenzy and get through? But I'm not sure he can. What other options we got here? I guess it's just that lino, right? You just knock over both the linos and go through there, I guess. Like with the guard blitzer. Mm. He kind of needs one of them to pay. Like, he needs either a push on the first one and then a... It's just annoying to get a two dice. One, two, three, four, five. Or he just GFIs the big one, I guess. No all the time. Yeah, so I was talking about the guard big one on the left. Like, GFI in to hit the lino on the right side of the troll. So that would be a GFI. Yeah, this one here, blitz there. Oh, I guess you just blitz through with the blitzer. Right, okay. I guess that makes a lot more sense. I guess he's going to jump over him, is he? I would have used the... Wow. Well, <coughs> I don't know if I would have used the reroll because I would have GFI'd, so. Who knows? But he doesn't get someone through, which is. Oh, I guess he can just dodge out the frenzy guy, right? And then try and. Can he tag? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 3 plus 2 plus to actually base the ball. I don't even know if you need to base the ball necessarily, do you? You can just stand in front of him, right? He is going for it. He's made the three! He's made the two. Whoa, this is uh, pretty fantastic. Oh, imagine being able to uh, be based. So I, I'm just clearing the lino on the right and then blitzing off with Mr. Throw. I think. I don't know if you're yeah. seeing it better. Yeah, maybe. Although that is guards. Yeah, it's the two dice, yeah, because he's got a guard there. Oh no, he doesn't clear the lino. Doesn't clear the lino. Oh, that guard, that, that black orc has already stood up, that's why. Oh. Oh, Ooh, so. Ooh. Is he going to. Blitz with a big un, and then GFI, and then just hit with Mr. Throw and stay where he is. Maybe. Or can he? No, he oh. can. Oh, oh my God! Disgusting. Oh. That was absolutely filthy. <clears throat> that might be Jim's hopes shattering. Like a shattered hope. So yeah, I'm guessing he's just, he's just, <laughs> he's just going to blitz and miss the throw. I mean, the push is interesting, right? If he if he doesn't get the pow, he's not going to be able to get out of range of him. Oh, he does get the pow. Yeah, that's a pretty big pow. I wonder if he would have oh. re-rolled it on the double push, but... Oh. oh my god! Is that the final nail in the coffin? Base, Mr. Throw at your peril. Mr. Throw, yeah. I mean, that, he's got a strong arm. He's been throwing mm. like, his whole mm. career. Throwing games since 1986, and that was a uh, that was a right hander from uh, downtown. 
and love the way he's uh, moved the ball back so he can't actually get based again. Uh, does re-roll it. Yeah. Just freeing up people to get him back now, and it looks like it looks like oh my god! Oh, opportunity gone. I think you just got to throw from forwards now. Probably risks um, conceding. I guess he can. Yeah, he might. I was I was looking at this. He might do the chain, chain the guard onto the troll, and then get that blitzer free. So you're gonna get the blitzer forward, and you're gonna get the big one forward on. The Oh, it's only a push, it doesn't free the blitzer. That's pretty unfortunate. <clears throat> I say pretty unfortunate, that's massively unfortunate. Maybe he's just going to dodge him out. Oh, he can get... Hmm, what can he do? He's running out of blitzers, isn't he? He's only got... One blitzer left, has he? <laughs> Where's all his blitzers gone? Yeah, that's pretty nice for the troll. There's the pals. Hmm. I guess yeah. Now he's dodging. Oh my god. Now he's dodging the blitzer. Oh, it's going to be so funny, Mr. Fro running away from a blitzer. Really slowly. The only issue is... I guess it's only a one dice for the, to hit the troll, but it is a two plus. And then he frees two blitzers pretty much instantly. Well, one blitzer. Pretty much instantly. Oh, he's just blocking. I guess this is to make the uh, hit on the troll harder so he can tie up those... Yeah, I don't, I don't hate that. There's still a couple of turns left. It's getting tense though. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just like watching the uh, final day of the season, like when I was a kid watching football. Huh. Yeah. 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 Incredible. I mean, it's better than the final day of the season, really, because the final day of the season is kind of shit, honestly. Like, <laughs> there's a, oh, oh, ooh. Mm, mm. Everything's already bloody sorted. And... Yeah, Man City have won. Yeah. By January. Yeah. I don't know any other sport where it's like. I guess it's every sport where it's just socially accepted that they can cheat and they can cheat as much as they like and it doesn't matter. What, just by spending all the money? Well, yeah, they bought in financial fair play and then mm. they just ignored it <laughs> and then they just paid a fine. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. And it's just insane, isn't it? It's to say, like, oh, right, you've been spending too much money on your club, we're going to punish you by making you pay some money. So, okay, well, we'll just carry on winning the league. Well, that is um, that is official. So, oh, <coughs> yep. And Jimmy, oh, he's got a couple of turns, right? So he's got a couple of turns. Oh, oh did, you miss it? Fucking... did you miss yeah, it? Yeah, I know. Because he's a fucking goblin. Jesus Christ. I mean, that's yeah. like the best thing on Blood Bowl 3, isn't it? The goblin. 
That emote, that emote. Definitely the most iconic part of Blood Bowl 3. Oh yeah. my okay, god, yeah. uh, so good. It doesn't even come to uh, the uh, end screen, does it? Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> so bad. Du, 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 du. Right, let's close that. Because I don't, I don't want to hear this noise. Well, yeah, but... Well, you need to... Oh, what? Do I need to, like... Morse code it to Jimmy, do you think? <laughs> well, you, you, you just need to type it to Jimmy. You just need to type it to Jimmy. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Uh... Oh, hold on. I'm gonna type it in Russian. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh, I should say, oh, hello, Zunk. Thanks for the wait, buddy. I hope you're well. Easy. It's a very tense uh, final day of the season for BBSL. Um, some pretty clutch results determining who is going to make it to the final playoffs and who is not. Um, so there was, I think there's been three games played today. This is, I think this is the first one that Jimmy streams. Um, and then there's implications across all the groups. <clears throat> I think Diomed only needs the draw. Mm -hmm. um, so he's obviously quite happy just to sit back and chill. Although he's kind of like in a bit of a sticky situation. It would be interesting if they actually got through to a knockout stage where one of them had to score because I don't know if it'll ever happen, Elliot. <laughs> I think you could give these no. two guys 54 turns of Blood Bowl and it would still be nil-nil at the end of it. So, uh, who knows? Do you think there's going to be action, any action at all this game? Even the commentators are, <laughs> even the commentators are having a go at them. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> no, Jim, I don't think there is. <laughs> I mean, he might decide he has to go for it here to the lino, to be fair. Oh, can we, oh, if we see Jimmy lose to another six plus pass, it will be glorious. Oh my God. Only a four plus. <clears throat> Which one are you talking about? The one on the big end? So what, do the one D? And then throw it to that lino and then... Oh, dodge. blitz the... Dodge, dodge the blitz off, do the 2D. Oh, I see, right, yeah. But then he's got to dodge through the tackle zone of that lino, isn't he? Oh, no. No, no. No, he no. just runs around it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what's the implications if he doesn't... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if he doesn't, you know, risks Mr. Thor getting sacked in the backfield. Oh, did you, did you see it just came up saying the ball's starting to look tatty? <laughs> oh. As in Ooh. potato. Ooh. How good is that? Oh, I don't think that's what they mean. <laughs> it obviously isn't what they mean, but like... <laughs> <laughs> the ball's looking a bit tatty time. <laughs> okay, we're going back. Oh, boom. Boom. Well, I mean, it could be, it could be actually... One doing the troll now and throwing to the blitzer. <laughs> no, we're not. Ah, uh, would have been amazing. I mean, also, Diamond is keeping his eye on the score. Then he knows certain things about <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah, for next uh, BBSL season, can we get all players to play in a dark room with Ooh. no light? Oh my god. 
Scoring threat? Question mark. I'm thinking absolutely. Ah, oh, boo! He just doesn't meet her. Yeah. Nah, I know. I mean, maybe, well, maybe he'll regret that at a later stage as well. Mm. Who knows? Or will be revealed? I mean, we know. I know, yeah, and you know. And Jimmy knows. And looking at it, someone else knows as well. <laughs> well, if, if dear bed. The thing that dear might, might know is that it doesn't matter what he does. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, like, essentially, he could, like, pick who gets through with him, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's true, yeah. So there is that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like, he's got no scoring for it, so he's definitely not scoring. I think that's official. Unless we see a Crucifer esque chain push into turn 16 touchdown. And now the question is, how fantastic is Jimmy? And I think we all know the answer to that is he's super fantastic. Oh, GFI, this is going to be an instant fail. No? No? Oh, sorry, I'm watching the stream again. Sorry, Elliot. I apologise. I've been watching the stream most of the day. It's because it's the... Uh... It's got chat on it. Jimmy expertly leaving his troll unassisted to stand up. Is there, a, is there an orc in the deep field, is there? <laughs> Am I missing something? No, no, it's just the logo. Oh yeah, there's I a saw, couple of orcs on the... Oh. I, I saw the logo and I was like, oh my god, he's got a scoring for it. <laughs> or like a gym sweeper. Where he's just left an orc in the background. Oh, this is like gives him a chance of scoring, I guess. It's going to make all the dice now. Except, of course, it's a push. Both... Both down into scatter catch. Oh, pal. Do you follow? Oh, oh my god. Is it still on? Well, oh, he's got next turn as well. Yeah. It's just getting the ball oh. sideways, isn't it? <clears throat> this is not one to commentate on, isn't it? With, with the other game being finished first, but um, yeah, this is. It doesn't matter to Diamond, right? A win or a draw, like a draw is a win for him, right? So there was never any point in him like going for a crazy pass play to win if it was safer to try and get the draw. He was always just going to try and get a draw rather than a high risk, high reward pass play, right? Um. As I had to give myself win chances, but there you go. This is almost over, isn't it? It's oh, almost do you, over. Do you think everyone scheduled as late as possible on purpose so they do all the other results? Yes. That, <laughs> yes. Is that basically what's happened? Here? Stride a message. Right. Stride a message to uh, like all three of us to say like, shall we all play, try and play at the same time so that you know people don't have the information. At yeah, the start of the game, which is fair. it's fair, it's fair because like it's really like you know, diamond all of your games implement each other, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like what else can just try to win anyway, right? What else can just try to win anyway, <laughs> whatever happens? <laughs> but like the orcs are you know, are gonna really, really struggle to try to win a lot of the time, right? Like my orcs, you know, I, I did my best if I'd got my if I'd got my if I'd scored on my drive, I would have won, wouldn't I? You know, so um, there is that. Well, he Diabed might have tried harder to score. But... Yeah, well, I mean, I would have defended harder to against the breakaway, right? <laughs> um, oh, we could do this all day, Jim. Yeah, but do you know what I mean, though? Like, I, it would have. I think I would. I think I would have successfully defended still because I would have. I wouldn't have pushed quite so hard, right? 
I, I would have won every game of Blood Bowl that I ever played if if, if it mattered. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Yeah, that, that, that's what it will boils down to. Like, <laughs> Don't be a cunt to me. All the losses that I've ever had have just been because it didn't matter enough. That's what it was. No, you know what I mean. No, it's not that it didn't matter. It's that... <laughs> I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> You know what I mean, you know what I mean. I, I, like there I didn't follow, the, which let him free those two guys up on a one day. It was because I was thinking if he does the pass I can run back and mark him. But then it just, it, or if he had a scoring threat, but it just didn't matter because he doesn't have to win. So he was never going to do that. So I should have followed. So I don't know. Um, but it's, it's absolutely the truth, uh, Hammers. Absolutely the truth. Yeah. I've uh, never lost a game of Blood Bowl that mattered. This is the only dodge. This is the only thing I can do, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I've won the only three that ever mattered. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I did lose one in a best of three series, but I won the best of three series. That's right. what mattered. Isn't it? There we go. What a way to end the season! Nil <laughs> <laughs> nil <laughs> draw. An absolute belter of a game. Yeah, it was. It was. It was more interesting than nil-nil looks, wasn't it? You know, to be fair. Um, was it? Yeah. <laughs> was, it? <laughs> was it? Was it? I don't yeah. know, chat. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, he blunted my drive. Like, oh man, it was brittle. Like, my, particularly my drive. Like, he just rolled all the pals, and I just couldn't get anywhere. And I was just like, <laughs> I'm like, I'll roll pushes and dub skulls, and you can power my guys and stun them, and then the troll will feel like it up forever, and I just. I just couldn't get through at all. Well, and I would say you held together really well. Like we couldn't tell that you were in any way frustrated. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Pow! 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 <laughs> <laughs> and, and then on his drive, and you know, I thought I did quite well, right, to get the pressure through. And that I thought, you know, obviously I got the cars, which which really helped. But um, I thought I did well to get like a bit of stuff through to try and you know, because it's it's much harder just. You know, if it was just trying to stop him scoring, I'd have felt a lot more comfortable just trying to stop him. But obviously, I couldn't just try and stop him because I had to try and push for the one nil win. Um, the the turnover score was if I just scored on my drive, then I could have you know played how he played, just you know super hard defense, don't let him through, and try and try and get the one nil win. Uh, GG Diamond, yep, that was um, <laughs> very stressful, very stressful. <laughs> but. Um, was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. I mean, maybe not for you two, but you know, when you're playing it, and it's I, just I like, quite enjoyed it, yeah. yeah. I, enjoyed, I enjoyed the both frenzy guys not powering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was quite funny. Yeah. Um, right. So there you go. Um, so now this it's awkward for the casting, right? Because with the other game and the spoilers and stuff, so uh, I'm obviously either the most disappointed person in the world right now or ecstatic. Um, so there you go. And luckily uh, it's Jimmy, so you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. Nil-nil means it's all down to Moomin Slayer versus Cold Troop. I don't know, it's not Moomin Slayer versus Cold Troop. Moomin Slayer versus Strider. And we need a Moomin Slayer victory to qualify. If it's a draw, then Strider will go through on head-to-head -head versus me. Um, and if it's a win, obviously he'll top the group. And then, well, yeah, he'll top the group. No, no, Diamond's top the group, hundred percent, hasn't he? I don't know, Jim. Like, this is your full call. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll put, I'll put, I'll put, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the tables put, up. That's easy. I well, can put the table up now. So, up first, so Diamond, yeah, that puts Diamond on eight. So Diamond is a hundred percent qualified in a draw. So he knew. Oh, that. okay. And I'm on six. So now a draw for Strider will seem through because he's got the head to head over me. And a win will obviously a win will not put him top, but a win will a draw or a win will qualify him, and a loss will qualify me. So there you go. So that is the situation at the end of that game. Thank you very much, Elliot and Dimmy. Absolutely glorious of you two guys coming in and doing this for me. Thank you. Totally gripping, Jim. I mean, I wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> really gripping, as gripping as a pasta bake. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.